Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. We had another wonderful question. Somebody was asking about changing color on scroll for a global header. Uh, it's very easy to do with the Divi default header. You've got a fixed nav bar that you can change colors on, just set it that way, and it'll automatically change colors when you scroll. Great for making transparent headers and things like that. But on the custom global header, not quite so straightforward. So I've written a little script here that will enable us to do it. And don't panic, I've written it all for you. I've got a PDF up there. You can click on the link and just copy and paste and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So let's get started. So here we have what we built yesterday. It's got that sort of dark gray header that we added our little mega menu to. You notice when I scroll down now, it's going to change from the dark gray to natural black. And you can change it to any colors you want. Really easy to do, and I'll show you exactly how. Now, as I mentioned before, I've written all this code for you, and I'll put a link down below, and I'll show you exactly how to copy and paste it and put it where you need to. So let's get started. I'm going to presume that you've already got a custom header that you want to add this effect to. Of course, with the regular Divi header, it's easy. You've got the fixed nav settings that you can change color on scroll and it'll do this anyway for you, but not so easy with the custom header. So let's go down to the dashboard. I'm going to go down to Divi and theme options. Now, if you want to, you can paste this code over in the integration in the head of your blog. I'm actually going to paste it directly into my header. And I'll show you exactly how to do that with a code module too. So here's one place. If you paste it in here, make sure you save your changes. I'm going to go down to the theme builder. Here's my global header. It's the one that we built yesterday with the mega menu. Here's my global header with a mega menu. I've got a lot going on. So I'm going to hit the little purple button at the bottom. I'm going to get a wireframe mode little icon on the left hand side there. So here's my global header up here and underneath I've got that built in mega menu with a lot going on there. First important thing that you want to make sure is make sure you've got no background color in your header. Make sure there's nothing set in background under content. That's really important. If you do, it might not work. And the other thing is make sure it's sticky because if it's not sticky, you won't be able to see that color on the scroll. So over in advance, scroll effects you can either set it to stick to top or you can make it fixed position right on the top there whichever you prefer but make sure it's one of those so it stays where you put it when you scroll so you can see that color okay once you've got it positioned that's great another really important thing that we've got to do is go back into your header here we've got to give it a class name and if you don't do this this will not work so go back into your header, go to CSS IDs and classes and give it a class name of G head, but global header, G H E D. I'll put that down below also. Once you've done that, save your changes. That's really important. Now I'm actually going to use a code module for this today. Let's get rid of the one I've got here. One on top for my little Google map that you saw earlier in my mega menu. Now you can put yours wherever you want. The good thing about code modules is they don't take up much real estate. I'm going to put mine in here. And as I mentioned earlier, if you don't want to put it in here, put it in the head of your blog in the integrations tab. Okay, let's just say what we got, make sure we've gone back to how it was. I'm going to save that. We'll go back to the page and refresh. And the first thing you should notice is there's no color behind our header up here. Just exactly what I want. And of course, when I scroll, it's not going to do anything because I've just deleted that code. So that's what we're starting off with. Okay, well, let's go back and add a code module. I'm going to roll down. There's a little code module right there. Fantastic. So let's add our JavaScript. Okay, well, let's add this script to our site that will enable us to do this. And there's a couple of ways you can add it. You can go down to your dashboard, go down to Divi to the options, go over to integration and add it to the head of your blog if you want to. 
I'm actually going to use a little code module because I've got a global header that's got a mega menu integrated into it. And so I've got a lot of space, got a lot of things going on. Code modules don't take up a lot of real estate, so you can pretty much put them wherever you want. If you want to put it in your header, it'll probably be fine. It may add a couple of pixels height to it, but you can adjust that with padding if you need to. And don't be afraid of the script. It's a copy and paste deal, and I'm going to take you all the way through it. I'll show you how to change the colors. I'll show you how to actually change the position where it actually changes from one color to the other. I'm also going to show you, if you want to, how to create a transparent header and then have it change to an opaque color once it gets so far down the screen. And it's a lot easier than you might think. Let's get back to the build. And I've got it in a PDF for you here on this link. And all you need to do is go down, copy the whole thing from the top script tag to the closing script tag at the bottom. Make sure you get everything. Control C to copy. We'll go back to our theme builder in the code module and we'll paste it in there. Let's make this a bit bigger so you can see. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll take you through all of this and show you exactly what things do. So we've got an event listener and it's setting an initial background color of my dark gray there, which is 24, 24, 24. Then it's telling it when it scrolls and gets to a depth of about 200 pixels there, and you can change this. I'll show you how to change it later on and also change the colors. It's gonna change to black, which is zero, zero, zero there. When it goes back to the top, it's gonna to go back to that dark gray again. And like I say, I'll show you how to manipulate this in a moment so let's just put that in there we'll save our changes now now when i go back to this page we'll reload and the first thing you'll notice is we've got our color back in the header there if i click on it and i scroll down the site it's going to change to black when we get 200 pixels down just exactly what we wanted. Now, obviously you're gonna to wanna to change these colors to your own colors, and that's entirely up to you. If you want it to start as soon as they start scrolling, you can change that as well. So let's go back in there and I'll show you how to change it. We'll go back into our little code module right here. Here's our initial color that we've got that set to, the 24, 24, 24. You can change it to anything you want. Just don't cut off those little inverted commas either side. Let's change it to transparent. It's always popular having transparent headers and then color on scroll. And I'll copy that. And when it goes back to the top, we want it to be transparent again. So I'll replace this 24, 24, 24 down here. Again, make sure you don't cut off those little brackets there. Or those inverted commas, I should say. I'm happy for it to be black. If you want to change the color, you can just click on it. If you wanted a little bit of opacity there so they can see a bit of the sight through it, you can drag it down a little bit and it'll put in the RGBA color for you. Now here's the scroll to position. I've got it set to change color at 200 pixels down the site. If you wanted to change as soon as they start scrolling, just put a zero in there. Save our changes. Save our changes here. Go back to our page now. We'll reload again. And again, the first thing you notice is we've got a transparent header. And that works quite well, actually, with my light text and everything right there. And of course, our mega menu is still going to work and pop up. Now, as soon as I start scrolling now, that just start turning black. Then there it is. Actually, we made it slightly opaque. So you can see a bit of the sight through there. And that works really well. And of course, if you want to scroll down, don't want it to start changing color until it gets below that section there. Probably about 800 pixels. We'll go back, back to our little code module. We can change that back to 800. And you don't have to put the PX in. You don't need to put that in at all. We'll save that. Actually, I'm going to change it from that opaque color to a full black. Or I might just take it up a bit more so it's sort of 75%. So it's still a little bit see-through. I think that was a little bit too, too opaque for me. So let's save that. 
saves our changes over there. Go back to this page now, reload, you won't see much difference. But this is now not going to change colour until we get about 800 pixels down, which should be about there. That wasn't a bad guess, was it? And we've got that slightly less opaque black rolling down over the rest of the site there. And that works really well. In fact, that works so well, I'm going to leave it just like that. And as I mentioned earlier, if you don't like this code, just delete it. Your site will go back to how it was. But that works for me absolutely fine by putting it in a code module. Actually under my header. And as I said before, if you don't want to put it in the code module, go down to Divi, Theme Options, Integration tab. There's the script we got for our little pop-up. Just pop that down. Pop this script on top or underneath it, whichever you prefer. Once you've done that, make sure you hit the save changes up here. So that works really well. I'm quite pleased with that. Just so it works on other pages, I'm going to take that back to about 200 pixels. But like I say, don't be afraid of changing it. You can always re delete it and recopy it from the PDF if it doesn't work for you. Great. Well, let's save that. We'll save our changes. Make sure it's still going to work over here. Now it should change when I scroll 200 pixels down. And there we have it. Fantastic. Great. So there we have it. I'm quite pleased with that. That worked out quite well. And like I said, really easy to do. And thank you so much for the person that posted that question down there. I hadn't thought of making this video until I saw that. And I think it'll be pretty useful for people. Like I say, a lot of people are afraid of JavaScript. Really no need to be. It's okay to be a little cautious with it. But as you've seen, really easy to do. Really easy to edit. Now don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I will do my best to answer them for you. I've got a lot of subscribers and 5 million odd views, and so sometimes I can't get around to everybody, and I apologize, but I do my best. If you've enjoyed this today, please hit the like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's always great to hear from you. If you enjoyed this bit of coding today, have a look at our simple CSS playlist. It should appear over here any moment now. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.